up our camper van. We'll give you a full van tour later. Um, we are currently on our way to this campsite in the Blue Mountains. Well, it's actually just past the Blue Mountains, but it's called Noon's Campground. It's a free campground and we booked it um, online. It says it's free, you have to pay a $6 booking fee, but I mean, to stay for two nights for the both of us for six bucks, which is the equivalent of about £3.50, can't really complain. It was about a two and a half hour drive from where we picked the van up from, and we were hoping we were gonna get there before dark because the last 10K, I think, is down this dark road, um, surrounded by trees, it's basically just a dirt road but i don't think we're gonna get there before dark so we'll see how that goes we'll update you along the way so this is only the second time me driving a van so stalled it a few times it's a little bit sketchy but we'll get there we'll be fine it's good practice for van life <laughs> sign on the side of the road for a koala not that we've seen one but that must mean that they're around here so i'm gonna keep my eyes peeled it is safe to say we are up quite high we didn't even realize that we'd climbed that high and then we saw the view from the side it's like we're on the top of the mountain my ears keep popping We haven't even made it to the campsite yet, but I am so excited for when we officially start van life in our own van. No, we don't have yet, but just this drive like to the Blue Mountains, we're just like, wow, wow, wow. Literally everywhere. It's just so beautiful and I just can't wait to start traveling again and not working. Blue Mountains right there. Okay, so you probably can't see much of what is going on, but we're, let's just say Lee's mum, Tracy, would not be happy knowing that we're doing this. It's, got got a mountain on one side with like rocks and stuff, and on the other side got a cliff edge. It's like a big drop. But, and half the road is shut, but luckily, because it's dark, you can obviously see when someone's coming, so we'll be fine. Lee's doing a good job. Okay, we've now come to the gravel road. <laughs> I have no idea if you can see me, you probably can't. But we have no idea what the back of the van looks like. <laughs> oh, is this the river? I just got to send it. I guess so. <laughs> we've got to go for a river. Is everything all right back there? Right, I need to investigate. The Derby light. Yay. Okay, so, <laughs> um, everything's still standing, but it looks like the bed decided to make itself. Oh, I wish you could see this. You can literally see so many stars. So we've been trying to get this fire going for about an hour now. No, and now we've used all of our fire lighters, so if this doesn't work... <laughs> we're all or nothing. Then we've got nothing left. So it's come to us using some of our toilet roll within the first hour of being here. You've got to do what you've got to do. Ali really wants this fire. So guys, our fire has officially turned to nothing. I just go up to someone and be like, yo, I'll trade you a log for some kindling. I mean, you could try. Some nice people gave us an axe so we can make our own kindling. I've never used an axe before. Put some willy in it. I think maybe I need to set it up. <laughs> Harder. You're not doing it hard enough. 
Yeah, more like that. <laughs> so while Leah's out there hacking that bit of vlog to bits, I'm gonna get on with dinner because who knows how long he's gonna be out there. So we're gonna have, Lee's having a steak and he's got some like chicken kebabs. Nice and reduced, how we like it. And then I'm trying these veggie sausages. I haven't tried them yet. They are sweet potato and black bean sausages. So hopefully they're quite good. I you're not meant to touch. How's me getting on this fire? Dinner is served. He still hasn't got the fire going. <laughs> He's still chomping away. But anyway, here is our <laughs> spread. Got some veggie sausages, the chicken, some halloumi, Lee's got steak, and then just some like side salad stuff. Yum. And the fire, I don't know. <laughs> I'm holding hope, but we'll see. So failed with the fire, unfortunately, even though I cut up all that wood. And spent like two hours trying to get it to work. But you win some, you lose some. We go again yeah. tomorrow. We still had a nice evening. Now we're just gonna sit outside, enjoy the stars. You can't really pick it up on the camera. So we'll pick this up in the morning. Night. Good night. Good morning. I think that was the worst sleep ever. That was a freezing. So our lovely van lady left these in the van for us. Like I know it's not real coffee, but it will do. bad night's sleep and the freezing cold was all was worth all it. I don't even care about that anymore. We opened the doors, had no idea the scenery we were staying in because it was pitch black when we got here but wow. It is insane. Literally so beautiful. surrounded by mountains, the sun's coming through the trees, Ooh, got the wallabies running around, the morning fog and I don't oh. know if it's morning fog or are we in the clouds. And then morning wallabies, know. it was all worth it. I'm happy. For all you van experts out there, what is this? Like right in front of the windscreen. My guess was so if you hit kangaroo or deer or something like that, so it doesn't like fly into your windscreen. I think that makes sense. But, but it's not I don't in the know. middle. That is true. <laughs> Like, what do you mean, like an animal windscreen wiper? Not a windscreen nope. wiper. <laughs> Don't nope. see ya. Welcome to our van. So we're gonna give you a van tour. Come in. Start at the back here. Dining table and chairs. You could probably fit like six people in here if you wanted to sit in. This is basically where the bed goes. Up here, we have shot glasses. Not that we've done any shots. And then this is a wine rack, but we're just using it for water at the minute. There's even a TV. And a DVD player. I don't think we'll be watching any TV. No. We have our mugs and cups and they actually have little holes to go in so they don't rattle around when you're driving. Moving over here, we have AC, not that we'll be using that. We have microwave, um, but we can't use that because we're free camping and you need to be plugged in to use that. In here we have, look at all these plates, bowls, everything you need. Cozies. Even a little beer cozy. Cute little touch. Moving over here, this is the fridge. It's a pretty good sized fridge for a van, I think. And it's even got a little freezer. 
moving on to here this is the hob so this is gas so when you're using it there's a little thing here that you turn on and then you can cook closing that Moving on to the bathroom. And it kind of reminds me of an airplane bathroom. Like it's quite small, but it does the job. So up here we have the shower, which gets hot water, but I won't turn it on because I'll get wet. And in here we have the toilet that has running water. And then you just close it, just like that. And then moving over here, here is the sink. Again with running hot water and even a filter tap. How bougie is that? And then here, this is just basically a storage cupboard where you can see we have just shoved all our stuff in. And up here, so this is basically where you control all the electrics. So here we've got the lights, so that's switched on. So this is the toilet, so I'll turn that one off now. Water pump, turn it off when we're not using them. The fridge always stays on. Entertainment, so that's TV and DVD player. We're not sure what the spare ones do. And then that's to open the door. And then through here is the driver's seat. That you can just close out for a bit of privacy. Pancakes. Whoa. Yeah. I think they're actually the best ones I've ever made. Breakfast with a view. Maybe. So, we are going to do a inspection of the toilets here. <laughs> and you're coming along with us. Oh, they look alright actually. Ah, we'll see we've got a toilet roll. Who would have thought? Do you know what? This is ten times better than I was expecting. I thought we would have to squat on the floor. So, we're just walking out the campsite. We are walking out the way that we came to either the glowworm caves or the ruins. Okay. Um, or maybe both, we're gonna check it out. We've reached another river crossing. That is freezing. Oh, my feet are absolutely freezing after that. She's still going. We're off to go see the ruins. It's only one and a half K, so let's go check it out. Okay, so apparently these ovens were used as kilns and they were built in 1907. On the way back to camp now, that's the ruins walk done. The walk itself was all right. I mean, you didn't really see a whole lot, just a load of bricks and <laughs> that kind of thing. But just to be out around the Blue Mountains, all the scenery, amazing. Yeah, it was a bit longer than we thought because it's a bit confusing. Right at the start, it says one and a half K. So you assume that's the whole walk, but that's actually just the, to the start of the walk. And then that's yeah. another like one and a half hours. But it was nice. Caught a ride. Where would you guys move for? Hold on, you. Hey, come on, from. Four more to come tonight. Oh, nice. So, I want to point out where you want. Where that, that one, right that, in the middle. That, that <laughs> There you go, friendly Aussies. <laughs> we literally just said, oh, I hope someone can give us a lift back. And then two minutes later, they drive up. They're literally camping right next to us. Yeah. And say, hop in. We're like, thanks. <laughs> yeah, didn't have to go through the stream again, so. <laughs> so we just started chucking it down and we're trying to put up our awning. Trying and failing. D double rainbow. <gasps> <laughs> we're just sitting here, just watching them all. I'm gonna sit here all night and I'm not gonna move. So, had a bit of a random evening, but it's been very nice. So we got back and the guys who gave us a lift on the back of their Jeep after the walk invite us to join them for some drinks. So we did that, that was pretty cool, but not really the wholesome vibe we were after. So we came back and 
was just chilling around here for a bit and then another guy um solo camping on his own he was really friendly basically saw me struggling with the fire again and asked if he wanted to go join him he had a fire going so we just joined him and just chatted with him for a few hours and yeah that was really nice yeah we made some s'mores on the barbecue not yeah. the barbecue on the fire it was good that is made just like that and i was sleeping with my hat on honestly the way we're acting you would think we're in the antarctic but it is freezing where we're we not are. even being dramatic like it is freezing the guy we just spoke to said because we're kind of in a valley like all the cold air just settles where we are what, an, what a sick day we've had we had yeah. wallabies nature rainbows we've it's had a lot an aussie experience it has and i've loved it hopefully we get a better night's sleep tonight and we'll pick this up in the morning see ya love you good morning not a successful sleep it was even worse than the first <laughs> one it was oh my god it was so cold I actually think I've got frostbite on my feet. That cold that Lee is having to scrape ice off the windscreen. Goodbye campsite. We're just making some lunch now. Laura's frying up some veggie burgers. We're gonna drive off to the city and drop our van off and say goodbye. I think this has been one of my favourite weekends since we've been in Australia. And it's just made me, well, both of us, so excited for when we do actually buy a van and we have one for ourselves, Which Definitely. is hopefully not too long. And we can do this all the time. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe. Big moment guys, Loz is on the wheel. First time driving. A van. I get my seatbelt on for this. Well, I didn't stall it like you. Hey! <laughs> hey! Now we can't open the door. And we just saw a little Australian girl scare off a wallaby in the morning. So there you go. We are in Australia. She just growled and they ran away. <laughs> That's how you do it. How did she do it? <laughs> He's reminiscing over what could have been. Lee is back to chopping wood again. It's going better this time. He's got a smaller axe, which I think is better. I've got small axe syndrome. <laughs> How many times is that? Enough. <laughs>